Pretty much any environmental indicator that you look at. You name the, the, the variable, you name the indicator, they've all gotten worse. We're looking at the moment at a devastating ecological crisis, a financial crisis, and the system that we have is beginning to misfunction in, in massive ways. The potential in this time is enormous. And as you say, it's, it's a time for transformation. And as, as you say in your book, Apocalypse means recovery. I think that we're some kind of final examination as to whether human beings are qualified to take on the responsibility we desire to be entrusted with. The impacts of the 60s are a clear example of this social, big, huge change that can come through personal change. From the experiences I had in meditation, I really felt peace could happen. To think about consciousness, when you tap into that intelligence, it becomes like embedded in, in, in all of us that we need, to, we need to look after this. I think there needs to become a generation of people who see cities as scaffolding for living systems. You can create a washing machine with an exercise bike and use a pulley system to attach it to the, the motor of the washing machine, ride your bike for 20 minutes, and you've just washed your clothes. There's a Nietzsche quote that I used in 2012. Um, he says that the deed creates the doer almost as an afterthought. So that the transformation of consciousness that we are capable of as individuals and on a species level comes out of uh, the deeds that we do in this time that's available to us.